What's up, guys? What's going on? All right, here we go. We got an awesome lesson to go over. This is on developing your flow, your vocabulary, your chops, and creating better fills on the drums. It really encompasses a lot of things. This is so fun. It's a simple, simple exercise, but I've made it on an organized chart for you to follow, so it's going to be very easy and simple to get if you follow along on the chart. Now, the chart is something that I spent a lot of time putting together. If you want access to the chart, you can get it in the link in the description below, but it's only for members who support the channel. So consider supporting the channel, guys. You can do so by buying me a cup of coffee. Very simple. It helps support the channel. It helps me make more lessons for you guys. Anyways, let's get into this. So when I say phrasing on the drums, what do I mean? What I'm talking about is you're saying a statement, you're making, you're communicating an idea. You're saying something musical on our instrument, right? You know, just for example, I'm coming up with a, a phrase on the spot. I'm improvising. How do you do that? It's really just memorizing simple patterns, and what you're doing is you're grouping those patterns together. Now, as a drummer, we have to think in terms of the subdivision, right? How many notes can we work with? Where's the one at? I, I want to make sure I'm coming back on the one. What I want you to do is learn a list of patterns, simple patterns, that range from note groupings from three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, okay? Those are all different note groupings. And what you have the freedom to do is figure out how you want to group those notes together to create a complete phrase. So in this context, we're playing 16th notes in 4-4 four, four time, so we have 16 notes to work with. And I'm going to give you five examples of how you can piece these together and create a complete phrase and make it sound good. So first, what we need to do first is learn these simple patterns. So let's go through that whole list. It's going to be very quick and simple. We're just going to do it on kick and snare. One quick thing I want to mention before we jump into the lesson, guys, is I have a free Kickstarter mini course available for you. Yes, it's completely free. Okay, so at the end of the lesson, make sure you look at the link down in the description and you can get access to this. It's a great course that'll just boost your drumming, give you a lot of useful stuff to practice right, right away. It also includes five free drumless tracks, really nice tracks too that you can practice to. Make sure you check that out and get that after the lesson though. Watch the lesson first, all right? Thanks. All right, so the first example is really simple, starting off easy. How do we fill up that 16th note measure with these groups? Let's start off with just playing the eight note grouping two times. Okay, again, that grouping is right, left, right, left, kick, right, left, kick. All right, so here's what it sounds like on kick and snare only. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Now, the next part is orchestrating it. And this is where you're gonna have a lot of fun in your own practice time coming up with your own orchestration. Here's one way that I like to do it. So we're just walking down the toms and then a floor and a snare at the end. Honestly, there's a lot more you can do with that one. Really fun, really cool chop, right? Simple though, because all we're doing is repeating that eight note grouping two times. Now, let's look at the next example. This is playing six, six, four. So we have a six note grouping, which is the right, left, right, left, left kick two times. And then we have kick, kick, right, left. So here's what that looks like. Ooh, and remember, that sets you up for a nice crash because you do the kick, kick, right, left, opens you up for a crash at the end. Again, here's what that looks like. Ooh. 
There's so many different orchestrations you can do with this one, and it just makes it sound completely different each time. It's amazing. This one is a wonderful chop. So let me show you an orchestration that I really like to use very slow. So again, there's so many different ways you can orchestrate that one. I'm just giving you a quick little demonstration, a quick little example. In your practice time, you can really discover a lot more to do with these. Now let's move on to example number three. In this one, we have a five, a five, and a six. Now five note groupings are really fun because they're coming down in a different spot. They're starting over in an odd place, and it's going to sound like you're slightly off time if you extended this over two measures. But if you're familiar with how these five notes work, you'll know how to finish the measure so that you come back in on the one. So it's all a matter of familiarizing yourself with these patterns, and then you'll know where you're at in the measure. So let's look at this five note grouping. Right, left, right, left, kick. Now repeat that. Finish it off with that sixth note. All right, now that we have the sticking down, we can go over some orchestrations. So here's an orchestration that I like to use. It's pretty simple, and it sounds good. It sounds musical. Okay, moving on to the next example, we're working with groupings of seven, another odd note grouping. It's going to feel a little weird by itself, but as we play it in the complete phrase, it sounds great, it sounds musical. Now here's the seven notes. We're going to repeat those seven notes. We're going to have 14 notes. We have two notes left over, so we're just going to end it with a right kick. So here's what it looks like, a little chunk at a time, and then all together. So now this is mainly singles, okay? So just kind of feel out those accent patterns. When you're playing it around the toms, you might not need to do the accent pattern quite as much as when you're really isolating it on the snare, but you'll see what I mean. Let me show you uh, an orchestration that sounds good with this. All right, so the last example, we have two three note groupings and two five note groupings. Now the three note groupings are just right left kick. So really straightforward, right left kick, right left kick, and then the two five note groupings that we've already gone over. So let me show you what that sounds like on the kick and the snare.
also, when I'm doing these orchestrations, I usually will just play the first thing that comes to mind, the first thing that I naturally want to do. It helps me remember it. So in this case, it's just starting on the snare, then going to the toms, and then just playing a mix of the first five note grouping where I'm playing the rack, and then the second five note grouping I'm playing the floor. So here's what that looks like. So we just covered a lot, if you think about it. Six different patterns, there's six different note groupings there, and I showed you five different ways on how to put them together and create a complete phrase that you can use as a very cool fill. They're all unique, they're all different, and you can take this and take it so much farther. Now, I really wanna stress, get this cheat sheet, get this worksheet. I have a blank one that you can fill out and start making your own uh, phrases with these chops, okay? so. The link is in the description below. Now remember, it's available to those who support the channel, and by supporting the channel, I mean buying me a cup of joe. Your support helps me make videos, it helps me uh, step up the production value and give you better and better lessons as we grow the channel here at Fisher Drumming and fisherdrumming.com online lessons. Now guys, before you go, take advantage of the free course, okay? It's five free lessons plus five free practice tracks. Super, super great value in there, and you can get it for free. The link is also in the description below, and I'll see you pretty soon here on the next lesson. Take care, have a lot of fun. We got a lot more lessons coming your way. I'll see you soon. Thanks. Peace out.